Well, hello, hello, Dixie Bell Paint Page. How are you today? It is Melissa coming to you live because it is Wednesday and I'm alive every Wednesday at 3 p.m. to sit on the floor and play with some paint. So welcome. It's nice to see you if you're back again. And if you're a new timer, just joining me for the first time, I do a lot of talking and not a lot of reading. So if you have a question, drop it in below. I will answer it after I am finished. So welcome. Um, if you don't know me, I am the Top Drawer RVA. I'm one of Dixie Bell's seven brand ambassadors. I'm live every Wednesday, 3 p.m. And today is a very simple project, a very simple project, a very classy project for my mother-in-law. I have a, a wonderful mother-in-law. I don't think very many people can say that, but I have a very, very nice one. So I won the lottery when it comes to uh, in-laws and the in-law family. So I'm painting her a little table today and she wants a very basic, simple finish. So I thought this is the perfect time for me to maybe get on here and talk a little bit about what I'm using, why I use it, what brushes go with what, because I get a lot of questions and we can answer them all today. All right, so let's jump in. All right, so first of all, Dixie Belle makes three different lines of paint. You're probably familiar with the Chuck Mineral paint line. It has the most colors out of all the colors that are available. And we also have something on the website at www.dixiebellpaint.com where you can actually use the color mixer to combine any of these colors and get your own custom color. So don't be worried. If you can't find the exact color that you need from this project, you could always make it yourself. So regular chalk mineral paint is the paint that I will be using today for this project. This is called buttercream. Now I'm going to teach you a little bit about each line, which brush I like for each line and prep for each line. So we have three lines in general and we have the regular chalk mineral paint. We also have Dixie Belle silk paint, which is your built in top coat, your built in primer. Um, it's a self leveling paint. It's mildew resistant. It's fabulous. And then we have the newest baby from Dixie Belle called Terra. And that was the one you saw me use last week. And if you didn't see my final, project from last week you are missing out you need to go over to my instagram and check it out because it is so flipping cool i absolutely love it it's very apothecary it's very grungy it's very textured tara is dixie bell's artisan paint um, and it's only available in 18 colors and it's probably my favorite from all the paint lines so let's talk a little bit about prep before i tell you what each paint line does and how you can use it so this little table is actually a tiny little end table on wheels and it is actually a Bombay style end table. Have you heard of Bombay wood before? Bombay was a store that was in a lot of malls in probably I would say 80s, 90s um, and it was very popular in the store for this, this very warm, rich red color wood that had a heavy gloss to it, a very heavy shine. Here comes my partner in crime. Hi, Luna. Are you part of the Dixie Bell family too? You just want to make sure that I knew you were here? We all know you're here. Why don't you sit down and have a seat? So this little table is a Bombay style table and I had to prepare it in a different way. There's some prep involved to all projects that you're going to paint with Dixie Bell paint and sometimes you need different tools for different projects. So this little table required something called slick stick. Slick stick is your gripping primer for anything slick or shiny. You need to shake it well before you use it and you're going to apply this with a throwaway brush because you don't want to put slick stick down the drain. Okay. So slick stick is applied. I like to use the either the new foam roller or I like to use a throwaway chip brush and I'm going to apply two even coats waiting approximately two to four hours between coats and then you're going to wait 24 hours before paint. If you wait 24 hours before you paint what's going to happen is you're going to conquer that problem of the very shiny wood. I can scratch this table. I can do anything to this table now. The prep is solid because it was shiny and glossy. I knew my paint would not stick to this project. So using silk all in one mineral paint, uh, no, sorry, sorry, silk, using slick stick is your great way to prep um, for any kind of paint, whether it be silk, chalk mineral paint, or terra. But for today's project, I prepped with slick stick due to the shiny surface on this little Bombay table, okay? Sometimes you might have a project like the one that's behind me. This little table, Luna, don't knock my table over. This little table behind me is actually a red stained wood. And before I get started on this project, there were some things that I had to do to it as well. Um, of course, all projects require a nice clean with white lightning. White lightning is your powder that you disperse into water. And I just keep mine in a spray misting bottle, spray everything and wipe it down. So you're always going to want to prep with, with something that's going to clean your project. And white lightning is usually your go-to project. If you're at a store that only has the silk line, you'll find pristine clean. And if you're at a store that only has the Terra line, you'll find Terra, Terra clean as well. And they're all the same product. They're just a powder-based product that you put into 
your spray misting bottle and clean your projects. So this little project behind me right here required a different product. That required Boss as a primer. Well, what's Boss? Boss is your, your stain blocking odor Anything that would be coming through your paint, anything that's stinky, that's smelly, that has an odor, anything that's like marker or red wood or wood that you're unsure of after you've cleaned it 50 times and you just can't get it clean, this is the thing that you're going to put on before you begin. And that's what's on this little piece behind me. I did Boss in Gray on that project as my super tough primer to make sure that I've got it ready for paint, okay? Boss is actually available in three colors, clear, and believe it or not, this is the clear one. The clear one is here because this is a clear project, um, a clear product for maybe if you're standing back, maybe you're standing back an area, maybe you're going to have an area that has like wood peeking through. You'd want to use clear. I know it looks milky, but it's, it's just milky in the jar. It dries completely clear. You would use boss and clear. My plan for that piece is probably a lot of color. So I'm going to be using boss and gray, which I did on that piece. It dries very light because the Boston Gray is a great neutralizer for say maybe pinks or yellows, anything with those high pigments. You also have Boston White, which is great for underneath anything that you'd be using like a cream project on or white project on. You're gonna to want to maybe use Boston White to help you minimize the amount of paint that you'll use. You'll find that when you prime with Boss, you're gonna use a lot less paint than you normally would use on your projects, okay? So anything slicker, shiny surface like this, Away you go, Luna. Goodbye. Anything slick and shiny like this little Bombay style table gets slick stick. Anything that's a bleeding style of wood that's red tin, that's red mahogany, that maybe smells funky, you know, that you just can't get that stink off of, that's where you'd be using Boss. I hope that clarifies for you. If you always, um, if you're still wondering about a project, like say you get a piece and you're like, hmm, I really don't know what to do with this. You can always refer to my YouTube channel where you're gonna find a back to basic series that's gonna teach you exactly what primer to use and why. Um, we will get you pretty much step one to done here at Dixie Bell. Um, we're your one-stop shop for everything, paint, transfers, decoupage paper, whatever you got going on, we're gonna be able to help you. <laughs> and no doggy treats, Luna, at Dixie Bell. All right, so I talked a little bit about the three lines of chalk paint. Let's get into them a little bit deeper about what each paint line does and what I would use it for. So today's project is gonna be done in buttercream, which is one of Dixie Bell's no VOC water-based chalk mineral paints. Color-wise, I think we have, I wanna say 67, but they come and go. Some of the paint colors are only available in the tiny little four ounce size. They bring new ones in like the Cottage Collection. They take old ones out that don't sell well. So even so, you're still gonna be able to find all of these colors in the color mixer to create exactly the color that you want. Like she's sitting right behind me like she's my cushion. I could lean on her right now. I, I really think she just wants to, when I sit on the floor, I have fair game. This means that I, it's doggy time, not paint time. I don't know, away you go, puppy love. So chalk mineral paint is great for blending, for getting a, a look that maybe I wanted to do an ombre color. You can mix the colors together really well. I like to use a spray misting bottle filled with water to help keep my paint kind of malleable and movable. It helps bring those ombre blends together. It also helps minimize brush strokes when you use water in your spray misting bottle. Um, what brush do I like to use when I use my chalk mineral paint? Well, that would be a smooth synthetic brush if I'm using multiple brushes to combine together to get a beautiful ombre effect. Maybe I wanted to apply it in a more pounced on manner. You could use a, a brush that has natural fibers if you wanted to do that. This is kind of like you're open to any game when you use chalk mineral paint, if that makes sense. You're not locked into one brush, you're not locked into one style, you're not locked into one color, you're able to kind of paint the rainbow and do whatever you want. This is the OG of, of paint, <laughs> for me anyways. It's the first one I ever tried. Um, I think the first color I ever bought in Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint was Bunker Hill Blue. Bunker Hill Blue and I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with it. Um, all of these paints that I'm showing you today and all the primers that we're talking about are available online or you can also go to the website and find your local retailer so you can go pick it up yourself as well. All right, size wise, this is available in the 16 ounce size, the four ounce size, the eight ounce size, and we also have the bigger 24 and even a gallon. Surprise, surprise, that's crazy. But I've painted walls before. 
I still haven't had to order a gallon, but I've still painted walls before with chalk mineral paint. So this is the color we're gonna use today, is buttercream, and uh, it is water-based. Does anybody have any questions while I have you here? I can pull you in a little closer, and I can answer any questions if you have anything that you need to learn about chalk mineral paint. I hope that I covered everything for you. Um, I like to use probably two coats with chalk mineral paint. I do like to use this for an ombre blend, and I also like to use this when I have to cover a large surface of area. Inside with your pets is fine. Inside with your kids is fine. No smell, no VOCs. Um, I've even used this to face paint on my daughter's face at Halloween before. Super safe, really great, no smell product. You will love it. If you're trying for the first time, I recommend like an eight ounce size because you're gonna get a lot of footage done with just an eight ounce size of paint. Let's see, I see some people watching. Hello from Eastern NC, how are you? All right, so that is the, the basics on the chalk mineral line. Know that you're not locked into any particular brush. You, you're not locked into any effect. You can really do anything that you need to do with this product right here. And knowing it's available in so many colors is kind of, kind of a lot of fun, right? A lot of fun. All right, so what color and what paint is next? Well, this is Cape Current, which is a beautiful blue paint. And if you know Dixie Belle, they released this paint approximately two years ago. This is called Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint. Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint is a little bit different than chalk mineral paint. Now, the reason it differs is because it has a built-in primer and a built-in top coat. Do you remember when I talked about the piece behind me being a bleeder and needing to have boss to prepare it for paint? This product has a built-in product like boss. Now, know that the piece behind me being mahogany, being red, bleeding through that red tannins. I would probably stick to like a boss in gray or a boss in white for like toughness, but I have painted mahogany pieces before with silk alma mineral paint using the built-in primer and the built-in top coat that's inside this can and has zero problems. I do like to know that I over-prepare just to save my time and efforts. I don't ever want to be disappointed with the outcome, so I like to use Boss in Gray for a heavy, heavy bleeder. All right, she says, I'm doing great, you love to learn. You know, it's funny, I've had a lot of new followers on my Facebook page lately, and I get a lot of questions about basic, basic prep and basic knowledge. So we will paint today, but I just thought that this might be a great learning opportunity for you if you're new to the product um, and you wanted to learn a little bit more. So Silk Alma Mineral Paint is a little bit thinner in texture. Let's see if I can open this can. Then Chalk Mineral Paint. I'm gonna open all three and show you what's inside as well. So this is also available in four ounce, eight ounce, or no, sorry, four ounce, 16 ounce, and 32 ounce. There's no eight ounce in silk all in one mineral paint, just so you know, all right? So when I use silk all in mineral paint, I like to use a smooth synthetic brush. I'm not going to use water with this product. The reason why I would not use a water to do any ombre blending with my silk paint is because of that built-in top coat and the built-in primer, right? Knowing that that's in there, you don't want to dilute it. You don't want it to be losing its strength at all. You want it to stay nice and strong. So I like to use a smooth synthetic brush and I would still apply two even coats, but this paint is amazing for one color finishes. If you want to paint your piece of furniture in one day, this is the paint for you. You're going to be able to get amazing coverage. You're not going to have to worry about top coating. You're not going to have to worry about priming mildew resistant, self-leveling, the list goes on and on and on, no VOCs, no smell to this product at all. So let me show you. There is one trick that I will show you when I like to use silk paint. It's, it's called top loading my brush, okay? This is a smooth oval small brush. You can see those smooth fibers on there. And when I top load it, I talk about actually putting just a little bit more paint on my brush because this paint is thinner in consistency. You can see it running down the brush. It's a little bit more waterier than using regular chalk mineral paint. Let me show you the difference between this one and the chalk mineral paint, okay? So when I use chalk mineral paint, give it a little shake. This is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit creamier in consistency and there's no need to top load your paint. Like, can you see how it doesn't drip as fast? See the drip? It's just that little bit slower. I like to use this paint for more of like an ombre blend. I'll spray it, I'll thin it, I'll move it around. I do not spray thin or move around my silk paint. This paint stays one color with a top loaded brush. I've painted my kitchen cabinets. I've painted my children's dressers. I've painted my bathroom cabinets. 
all with silk, all in one mineral paint, because it is easy. And remember, it's tough as nails with that built-in top coat and that built-in primer. That bathroom, I mean, you gotta imagine, I've had three kids in that bathroom and it still looks like a million bucks. I use silk paint in a dark navy. I use nautical for my bathroom cupboards and it looks so good, so good. So know that this is available um, in, I think it used to be 18 to 26 colors. I can't remember the off the number of colors because so we've actually added some new ones in. Um, but silk color mineral paint is a beautiful kind of Hamptons inspired line that you're gonna be able to use a smooth synthetic brush with. You're going to not use your spray misting bottle filled with water. You're still gonna to want to use two even coats of paint with this product, but know when you're done, you're done. You can just walk away. There's no need to top coat your projects. When you're using chalk mineral paint, you can seal this or unseal it. I mean, there's no rules. You don't have to seal it, but you could use wax. You could use clear coat. Uh, you could use hemp oil. It's up to you. It's easy peasy spray wax. With this one, you're done and you're walking away. So if you wanted to add waxes because you wanted to say maybe add gilding wax to the corners or you wanted to deepen and darken your edges, you can do all that with silk paint just after it's dry. There's no need to do it. It's more of a decorative feature. All right, so that is silk paint. So with silk, you would know that you would use a smooth synthetic brush. And to be honest, your scarlet brush, which I don't have one, I think it's dirty. Oh, I do have one. Your scarlet brush is the most perfect size to fit into that can of paint. Have you tried the scarlet before? This is like a nice smooth brush. This one's like baby soft and it fits exactly perfect inside that 16 ounce container of silk paint. All right. And last but not least, we have Terra, Terra Paint. Now listen, this is Dixie Belle's newest baby. And I don't think everybody has tried it yet, but you see me use it a lot because I really, really, really like it. And it is now available in four ounce sizes. It does look different though, right? The can is a little bit different than these two, right? This is a different paint. This is a clay-based paint. Have you heard about a clay-based paint before? Terra is available in 18 beautiful colors right? And they are gorgeous and vibrant and stunning. You can get like every color. They're so pretty. The only thing Tara is missing is a really deep, rich brown. I really like to add brown when I use Tara because I like to create like an aged effect. So I usually add chocolate to my projects with Tara. But Tara has 18 gorgeous colors. And when you apply Tara, Tara is a textured paint. Remember we talked about consistency? Remember how fast that silk paint dripped? Remember how silky that silk paint was? This paint is textured and delicious and thick. When you apply it to your projects, I like to use a natural bristle brush. I like to stipple it on. And when I stipple it on, you're building texture with this paint and you're able to layer it. This does have a small level of VOCs, which means there is a slight earthy smell. It literally smells a little earthy, a little bit like the earth. So Terra Clay Paint is thicker. I like to apply this with a, a, a natural bristle brush. We have many at Dixie Belle. Um, this is a French tip. We also have like the little La Petite. We have the Best Dang brush, which I use Terra on my whole entire fireplace with the Best Dang brush. But this, this paint likes a, a textured fiber brush like this, okay? So you can use water with Terra. Okay, you can use water with Terra because when you build layers, you can actually reconstitute this paint with water, pull it back, layer it, move it around. You get the most amazing, beautiful looks with Terra. And I think that it's one of the paints, oh, there's a fly in here. <laughs> I think that there's one of the paints that not a lot of people have tried, but if you try it, you're gonna love it. There's that fly. He's coming over to check out my paint, my little paint seminar. So Terra is available in these cans right here, which is 16 ounces, right? and also available in the four ounce size. If you try Terra, I recommend that you get two colors because it's actually a lot of fun to layer and build texture. Let's see, I see Dandelion Designs by Amber watching. Hi Amber, how are you today? So that, my friends, is the three lines from Dixie Belle Paint, all right? We have regular chalk mineral paint, water-based, no VOCs. Use water, use whatever brush you like. You're kind of open to the world with this paint, all right? Next up, we have silk, all-in-one mineral paint, smooth synthetic brush, no water added, please, and two even coats should be enough to cover your project. 
knowing you have your built-in primer, your built-in top coat. Then we have Terra Clay Paint, which is your artisan paint, which is bright and vibrant and textured and gorgeous. 18 beautiful colors. There is a small little tiny smell to it, but honestly, it smells like clay, to be honest. I don't mind the smell at all. 18 gorgeous colors with this one, built for layering, built for designing. It's my favorite go-to for, for doing a textured look. So you have a lot of options when it comes to paint. Did you know that Dixie Belle has a color mixer that I mentioned before where you can actually create any color of paint that you're looking for um, in any combination? And if you really wanted to be crazy and mix stuff up, the only rule that I would say, because I always say there's no rules in painting, the only rule I have for you is that if you're going to use silk paint because of the built-in top coat, because of the built-in primer, I wouldn't start mixing around other paints with this only because you need to keep that one, you know, its properties in value with the built-in top coat, the built-in primer. You, if you want it for that, keep it for that. But if you're playing with art and you're making a mess and you're having some fun, there's no rules in painting. You can mix around whatever you want. We also talked a little bit about slick stick, which I used on this project right here because this is a heavy style of shiny Bombay wood. Slick stick is your gripping primer for anything slick or shiny surfaces, paint metal, paint glass, paint fake, fake wood, plastic wood, whatever you like, all right? And then pieces like the one behind me, you need a primer like Boss. This was done in Boss in gray to get ready for paint. So also know that you need to clean all your projects well before you begin with white lightning, a clean, nice surface that's been scuff sanded is always, always the best practices before you paint. Got it? Got it? Good, all right. Well, let's jump into some painting. Now you've learned everything you need to know about Dixie Belle. Um, and you can check out all of this online or at your local retailer. An elite retailer will have everything that you need um, and you can find it there as well. Let me put the lids on this paint. So I'm actually not painting with these colors today. They were here just for me to show you the paint, what it looks like inside and how it feels. Because sometimes you just need to know this stuff, right? You need to, to see it, see it in action. I'm gonna move this one over. Remember with Tara that these lids need to be clicked on so you're gonna have to get out your mallet after you're finished or another paint can like I do and bash it down just to make sure it clicks on there so your paint does not get dried out okay so what are we doing today what are we painting well we're painting Nana's table I told you this is my mother-in-law's table she needs a little table for when her friends come over to play mahjong and this is it so I have cleaned this piece and I've prepped it with slick stick it's my gripping primer now remember look I spilt a little boss on here Remember I talked about slick stick being tough? Look. Do you love that noise? Should I do it more? <laughs> I did this yesterday in slick stick, waiting my 24 hours before paint. This is ready to go. Nothing is gonna get the paint off this now that it's prepped with slick stick. But before you saw, if you would've saw this, you would've said, you can't paint that, that's shiny like plastic. Nope, not with slick stick. You can do whatever you wish. So let's flip it upside down and do a little bit of painting today, shall we? All right, and bring you over this way. Does anybody have any questions? Remember, I told you I will come back in and answer them for you after the video is finished. Um, when it comes to the questions, I can't read them all. I get distracted, super distracted. Look, you can actually see a little bit of the wood left at the bottom by the wheel. See how shiny it was? See how slick it was? It's like so smooth, I can't even scratch it because it's so shiny. And now it's got that slick stick on there. So we are ready to go. So what's the color we're gonna use today? Well, Nana's table is gonna be buttercream. She wants a nice neutral base to match any room in her house. So surprise, I'm painting almost white, <laughs> which never happens, but I'll do it for my Nana. I'll do it for Valerie, she's, she's wonderful. So when you paint with chalk mineral paint, you can spray it to dilute it a little bit. Like when I say your spray misting bottle, you can spray your brush or you can spray the piece just to get that paint going on a little bit smoother. It's up to you. But I usually use my spray misting bottle on the second coat. The first coat is not usually where I'm using my spray misting bottle because I want my paint to be kind of thinned out on the second coat, not the first. The first coat is just kind of get on there, get dry, get that base and get going. So you'll see me use my spray misting bottle more so on the second coat. The brush that I'm using for applying my paint today is my mini angle. But again, with chalk mineral paint, you're not locked in. 
You can use whatever color you, or whatever color. Well, you can use whatever color you like. You can use whatever brush you like when it comes to this paint. You don't have to be locked in. You pick your favorite and you go from there. I'm going to be using my small artisan brush to get in around the wheels because I'm not taking them off. An artisan brush from Dixie Belle. They have these really great little kits. I can probably reach one. I think I just put one in here. I buy them almost every month because I use them a lot. These small little brush kits are fabulous for getting in around corners. And I really like them at Christmas when I'm painting Christmas art. So keep that in mind as well. For brushes, we have you covered at Dixie Belle. You can find all your brushes that you need. But these little, these little guys right here just make my life so much easier when it comes to details because these brushes are, are fabulous, but they're really hard at getting in around the details. They cut in really well when it comes to edges, but tiny details need a tiny brush. So this table, like I said, is going to be very basic. We're not getting crazy at Nana's house for this. We're just gonna be doing two even coats of buttercream. So I thought we could talk a little bit about the paint lines that are available and we could just at least get a base coat down so that I can get this finished before the weekend. Because she's taken my child this weekend. They're taking a little grandkid break. So it'd be nice if I could pay her back in furniture, right? <laughs> I'm sure she's gonna be doing a lot of fun stuff with them. So I will do this in payment. I will paint tiny tables for Nana any day. When you paint these little tables, do you paint underneath? Do you paint like the top? part of the, the table or not. Like I usually don't. There's a sticker on here, but it's not the price sticker. It's just a sticker. I will probably paint down to the square piece at the bottom, but I don't think I will paint. Well, maybe I will. It's tiny. You never know. It's usually a time crunch for me. I don't know if I want to do that or not. So out of all three lines of Dixie Belle that I showed you today, Terra, Silk, and Chalk Mineral Paint, which one do you use the most? I'm always curious to see what everybody is using. Tell me, what's your favorite line of paint from Dixie Belle? Do you have a favorite? And if you do have a favorite, do you have a favorite color? I do think that Terra might be my favorite paint. I, I really do. I think that Terra clay paint, just the availability of creating is so broad that it, it just might be my favorite paint. It's, it's just so much different than all the other paints that Dixie Belle has with that beautiful texture and those gorgeous, vibrant colors. I mean, you could add sea spray to your chalk mineral paint if you were looking to get a textured coverage similar to terra clay paint, um, but it's still not gonna be the same. There's something about terra clay paint and that texture that just I love, I really do. So I'm gonna get this one coat on here and then we're gonna flip it over and paint the top of it. I wonder what the most popular color is from Dixie Belle. I bet you it's white. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's not my favorite, but I know that a lot of people like to paint um, things for their home and maybe not everybody likes to do a crazy Mad Hatter look like me. I mean, to be honest, you should, <laughs> you should want to paint color. It's a lot of fun painting color and painting whimsy. Really do like it. But yeah, I bet you Dixie Belle's most popular color is probably one of these creams or one of these whites, just because it's just such a, a normal thing to do, right? Usually not my style, but that's okay. Like I said, sometimes you gotta paint things for other people, but this table's for Nana, so. We will make her fabulous. Let's see if I can flip it over without getting paint all over me. Yikes. All right, so I'm just gonna continue painting on the top part of these little fancy legs and around the top edge here. Like I said, this table was primed in slick stick because of its slick and shiny surface. It was also cleaned with white lightning we're just gonna do a very neutral, very basic one color. And it's on little squeaky wheels, <laughs> which is perfect for turning it around. 
So on the second coat, I'll be using a lot more water to really mist my brush and really get that paint nice and smooth. That's really the only reason for misting a brush that when you see people doing it, you're like, hmm, why is she putting water on her brush? Why is she using water on her project? That's why, because it's just allowing you to really get a smooth finish. You can also sand in between your finishes. There are these little sanding pads. I'm actually probably sitting on one, I think. I am, I am sitting on one. Dixie Bell also sells these cute little sanding pads, which if you do one coat and then you came in and gave it a light sand, that's gonna eliminate any brush strokes as well. It's really gonna help you keep everything smooth, smooth like silk. All right, let's paint the top of this thing. Is it crooked? It looks a little crooked to me. I think it's all right, but. So this is buttercream. Um, you don't have to apply your paint like this unless you're looking for texture. I mean, you can, I want smooth. So I'm gonna go back in front. I'm gonna go, sometimes I go in the direction of the wood grain, but to be honest, the first coat is more about just getting your paint onto the project. You want to know that you're getting all of the area covered, and once it's covered and dries, then the second coat is kind of where I'm a little bit more neat. The first coat always looks a little crazy, especially when you use silk paint. Don't be scared when you use silk paint and you think your first coat looks wild, because that first coat sometimes with the silk being a little bit thinner, can be looking a little patchy, if that makes sense, because it just sits a little bit thinner on the surface. But don't be scared. It always levels out beautifully with silk on the second coat. Sometimes with your lighter paint, no matter what brand you're using, Silk Terra or Chalk Mineral Paint, sometimes you'll find that the lighter colors might require just a little bit more paint. You know, lighter colors always take a little bit more to cover that really dark wood which is why if you have a white primer, like Boss or Slick Stick, sometimes it's just nice to have that as a base to really help um, cover the area before you have to cover the area with paint. Because remember, it would be dark, dark brown, right? And going from like dark, dark brown to like a light, light color can take a little bit more paint than you used to. But darker colors, sometimes you get away with less. And I actually can paint some things with Terra in one coat. My fireplace was done entirely in one coat of terra clay paint and it looks great. I love it. See? Simple as that. So once this dries, I will come in and give it a light sand with my gray sanding spat pant Spit that one out. <laughs> my gray sanding sponge. This sponge is very, very light. It's like lighter than a nail file. I don't even know if you could file your nails with this. So I'm gonna just sand it lightly when it gets dry. And then I will come in with my second coat of buttercream. If you're planning on reusing the same brush, you can put this brush in a plastic bag or you could put it uh, wrapped up to save it so you don't have to wash it. I will probably wash it because now I have three brushes on the floor to wash since I showed you what the Terra looked like and the silk paint as well. Um, and if you didn't wash it, you can just reuse it as you go along. But just know that silk paint likes kind of a smooth brush. So doing that, saving that brush for like the next use might not be the best idea with silk. But with clay paint and chalk paint, you're A-OK. -okay. So that, my friends, is it. All I had to do was paint this tiny table. At least get it started, right, before the weekend. I hope that you learned something today, a little bit about Dixie Belle's three lines of paint. I'll go over them for you one more time before I let you go. And in case you have any questions, I'm always available to help. You can reach me on any of my social media channels. I'm the same across all the boards at the top drawer RBA. And it's just me and my little, little phone answering every question I get. So I don't mind. Send me a message. I'm always happy to help. We have regular chalk mineral paint, which we use today. I use the color buttercream. This is not locked into a specific brush. You can use any brush you like for chalk mineral paint. Depends if you want texture. I would use a more kind of fibrous brush if I wanted texture, but I want a smooth color and design today. So I use a smooth synthetic brush. You can use water with chalk mineral paint to dilute it a little bit and maybe ombre your colors together, or you can use it on the second coat to really make sure you get that nice smooth finish. This is zero VOCs, lots of colors to choose from, right? Then we had silk all one mineral paint. Silk all one mineral paint is a little bit different than chalk mineral paint because it has a built-in primer and a built-in top coat right there inside the jar. Remember, it's a little bit thinner, a little thinner in consistency. My handy dandy tip is to top load that brush, get a lot of paint on that brush, 
and work in sections. It's gonna dry a little bit differently. You're going to want two full coats, but remember that first coat is gonna always look just a little bit patchy. It's just a little bit thinner because of the built-in top coat and the built-in primer, all right? And then last but not least, we had Terra clay paint, remember? Terra clay paint is the thicker paint. It has a small amount of VOCs. There's a tiny bit of an earthy smell to it. There's 18 beautiful colors in Terra clay paint. And this is the paint for texture and design. You're gonna to want to use a kind of a stiffer brush with this paint because you're building texture, you're building layers, you're creating gorgeous things, gorgeous art on furniture. This is my favorite paint, Terra clay paint and I think that you would really like it. It's available in four ounce sizes and the 16 ounce sizes, but if you're gonna try this, I say get two that are like-minded in colors. That way you can layer your paint and pull it off and get that beautiful aged effect very easily. We also talked about primers today. I use Slick Stick on this little table because of that slick and shiny surface. Getting it ready for paint is very important. All of these paints work wonderfully, but your prep is the thing that's gonna make it last. So slick stick on a slick and shiny surface, knowing that once it's on there, your paint will stick well, no matter what it is underneath, plastic, metal, or wood. And then a piece like the little guy behind me needed boss in gray because of heavy duty bleed through. Boss is gonna be your primer for anything, blocking odors, stains, bleed through, uh, any of those smelly pieces, any of those pieces with like maybe marker or like a water stain on them. Boss is gonna be the thing underneath your paint that's gonna make sure that none of those things bleed through your paint when you're finished. All right, I hope that that helps you today. I had a good time talking about paint, paint class 101. Like I said, I'm always available to help. So if you have a question, send me a message. I am always around. And I will save this and put this up on my YouTube so that anybody has a reference video. But there's also a back to basic series on my YouTube channel, which allows you to learn about each product that Dixie Bell makes specifically so that you can get the best results from your product. You also have little things called your how-to books with little QR codes on the back. And each QR code is gonna take you to a different social media resource. There's so much help online. There's so many things that you can learn from. I think that it would be fabulous for you to grab one of these from your local retailer and give them a try. All right, that's all for me, folks. I gotta wait for this to get dry, give it a slight sand, a second coat, and then I'll seal it so that Nana has a good table to play. Actually, she's not gonna play Mahjong on here. I think they, they need a table for drinks. <laughs> so that's the way I want to be. I mean, that's a good thing. So take care, everybody. I will see you next Wednesday at 3 p.m. on the Dixie Bell Paint page. And I am posting a new YouTube video every Sunday. I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.